people, it's Thursday, um, a bit sore from yesterday, not going to lie to you, <laughs> a little bit sore, and I know Sean's already just done an upper body and a shoulder shred, so if you've just done that, you're probably feeling it, it looked tough. Um, how are we all? Thanksgiving's coming up, so are you ready to work off some of those calories that you're going to be eating, because you're going to need to? I've seen all the pies and the turkeys and everything else. So, uh, we're going to do a um, full body workout today because I don't think you can do much more upper body if you've just done Sean's workout. I'm going to incorporate quite a lot of upper body today because we did legs on Tuesday and we did full body yesterday which had a lot of legs in. Um, but predominantly I'm not going to focus absolutely all on that because I think you're going to need to mix it up if you have just done both of those workouts. Hello everybody, hello, happy Thursday, how are we all, how is everybody? Um, so I thought we would use a balance trainer today, so if you don't have um, one of these, if you don't have one of these, which you probably don't, you can either do high knees if you don't have a skipping rope, you can skip if you have a skipping rope, or if you have a, um, a, a step box, we're going to go over and back, okay? So we're going to use our legs, that's going to be our cardio. So if that is not something that you're super cool about, you need to mix it up for you. So maybe you're going to do uh, skipping, maybe you're going to do high knees, maybe you're going to do something else. Maybe you want to do burpees, maybe you want to do something else. But that is my cardio for today. So it's going to work our legs, it's going to work our inner thighs, it's going to work our outer thighs, and it's going to really push us to keep our heart rate up while we go into our strength bit, while we go into our bit that's going to be seriously tough. Because you know how I like to roll. I like to put a, a certain amount of cardio in, a certain amount of balance in, a certain amount of flexibility in, a certain amount of functional training in. I like to really mix it up. And I like the fact that when you're on, say, skipping, high knees, or yesterday we did the single arm clean and press, I like that your heart rate is up there before you get into the next move and your heart rate stays up there by the time you get back onto the cardio. I like the heart rate to be really, really up there, burning all the time and that's why I do it. So if you do have a balance trainer or if you do have a box or if you do have something you can step over, grab it now, you're going to need it. Or you can just do high knees, that's going to be just as hard, I promise you, it will be definitely just as hard. We're going to do 50 seconds work with a 10 second rest. I have now got to put on this vest that I'm looking at on the floor. Now, for anybody that saw Sean's workout, I put the vest outside last night so it dried. So when he put it on, it was dead, dead dry, I'm sure. This vest, I just picked it up, is disgusting. It's so sweaty. Ah, That's why I've not got it on right now, because I'm actually like preparing myself to put it on. So, I'll put my hair up first. So here up there, <laughs> I don't want to put that vest on. Anybody else want to put that vest on for me? I really, really, really don't want to put that vest on. So, let's work off those calories. Let's see Thursday through. We have done awesomely this week already. It's been an absolutely awesome week full of really, really super cool workouts. So, are we ready to go? Are you here? Are you with me? Let me know where you're from. Let me know if you've got any questions. Let me know what you want to see next week. Um, are you ready? I'm going to have to put this vest on now. I'll do for you. <laughs> oh, this vest is so sweaty. Is is honestly, does the vest fit large chest of people? Well, yeah, it fits a man, so I'm gonna say yes. I wear mine upside down so it holds them puppies right in there. Gets them right in. <laughs> oh god. Oh, well done, Bella. That's awesome. So my workout, this is gonna be your cardio. So you're gonna take the first round, I'm gonna take the second round. You're also gonna need something to elevate on. I don't have my challenges with me here. I'm um, sure it's gonna bring some back with them, so I'm gonna use this box. So if you've got a box or a step, you can also use that for the elevation stuff as well. So this is how your cardio looks. Using your balance trainer, you're gonna come over and down. Now notice I'm down and I'm back, my knees aren't over my toes, and I'm using my quads, using the big fat building muscles to drive over. That is going to absolutely annihilate those lovely legs of yours by about five minutes in. Hello, happy Thanksgiving. Are you ready? Talk over. You should have everything you need. You're also going to need two weights. So I've left the weights that, Steve, uh, that Sean put on. 
So five pound each side. If I need to go heavy, I will. Ready. Roxy's is ready. Everybody's ready. Where are you watching me from right now? Pop it below. I want to know. Um, Martin's ready. So you're going to take the first round. Got it? That's going to be your first round. I'm going to take the second round. We are going to double up on a lot of the exercises today, just like we did in that leg workout. If you did it with me, it was super cool. Doubling up is only going to mean that we're going to work twice as hard. Uga's ready. Everyone's ready. Are you ready? Oh, Darren's ready. Martin's from Los Angeles. Everyone's ready. That's it. Hey, <laughs> Darren from the UK. Right, get a bit of water. Whatever you're picking for your cardio, I want to know. So jump pose is what I would like. But if you can't do that, high knees, skipping. Go back to something basic but hard that's going to push you. That's what I want from you. No messing today. I don't need that till the next round. So you take the first round. Are you ready? 10 seconds. Bit nervous, little bit nervous. Let's go. 10 seconds. Okay, so again, if you can elevate, elevate. If not, then don't worry about it. Four, three, two, last one. Can you see me? Yes, you can. So, spine push ups are your first move. Now, if you can't do this, do it on the floor. Come on, push. Drive. Come on. We're going in hard. Ten seconds. Whew. We know about this after yesterday. Seriously hard, so if you need to go down onto the floor, go down onto the floor. If you need to go onto your knees, go onto your knees. Let's go. So, again, your cardio. Make sure you can see me. Looks like this. So, if your legs are tired, just slow it down. That's all I want from you. Remember, you can always mix it up with high knees or skipping. But I want you to stay focused. Stay in the game halfway, 25. 20. Push. 14. 10. Seven. Three, two. I need to pump it up just a tiny little bit. Okay. First couple of rounds are gonna feel like dying. I get it. Just keep focused, keep going. Whew. Next round, this is how it looks. So, you step back, twist, come up, bring it together. Up, step backwards, back. You're doing jump overs, back, go. So instead of a forward lunge, we're doing a backward lunge today. Down. Come on. 18. 17. 15. Come on, push. That's one. So. If you can't do it with the weight, take the weight away. But if you can, try, really try hard. Push yourself. First couple are so hard, aren't they? It's like you've never trained before. How is that? Oh, it's because it's Thursday, that's why. 40. 
You're going to be out of breath. Horace, 135. You know what I'm saying? Hmm. Let's go. Back to chest. You're going to do those step overs. I'm on chest, so this time we do one push up, punch. One push up, punch. 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 Try and keep a straight body line. If you need to go down to your knees, go down to your knees. Come on, push. 15 seconds. Keep going, keep pushing. If you haven't got a step, high knees or skipping, that's what you're going to use. Here's your variation again. So we step back, press, come up. Now, if you can't leave the weights in the air, here's your alternative come down, then press. Okay? I like to leave my weights in the air because I like to work my abs. So same move, different variation. Shoulders were a bit tired from yesterday. A lot tired actually. Four, three. Oh. If you can't keep your shoulders, if you can't keep them in the air, I completely understand, absolutely understand. But keep pushing, keep them here and then push, okay? Let's go. I feel like I've missed a jump. If I have, I'm sorry. But you're doing lunges. I feel like I have. Getting carried away. Who knows? I'll watch it back. It'll all work out in the end. 21. 18. 12 seconds. Come on. Six. Three. Ah. Oh. Starting to get real now. Okay, let's go. This time, use your bench if you've got one. You're going to do a chest press with a leg lift. So, changing it up slightly. Down. Down. So, again, working chest. Just mixing it up. Come on. Go. You've got this, you can do this on the floor if you wish. You can take your legs out as well if the legs are too much for you. Just bend them here, put in the abs in. Come on. Heart rate's starting to get right up there now. Sweat's starting to come. Don't quit. Don't quit. Don't quit, keep pushing. Let's go. So you're on that one. Again, working chest. And then you're on jump papers, which gets some heart rate right up there. So you're on my heart rate is 125 going into my jumps. So I'm still in my heart, my fat burning zone. Come on, 25, halfway. Come on, 20, 17, tiny bit needs pumping up, so it's a little bit flat, so I have to work even harder, it's like doing it in mud, 7, 3, 
How you doing? You okay? Good. Okay. Stay with it. So working chest again. Let's go. This time flies. But instead of taking our legs down, we're going to take them out into a V. Bring it up into a V. Bring it up. Shoulders off the mat. Up. Up. Now, if you can't do the legs, just stay with the fly. That's what I want from you. So, like bending the elbows, pull your abs in. Don't let your back arch. Abs in. Come on. Come on. Breathe on the work. Come on, Mario. Stay with it. Stay focused. Stay in the work. Stay in the game. Keep pushing. Keep going. It's Thursday. Earn that Thanksgiving dinner. All in your home. All free. Leaning by example. Push. Put it here. Okay? Erica, do it today. Don't quit now, do it today. Okay, so one lunge, one lunge down. So lunge, and then you're gonna fly. So lift, take it out. Lift, down, lift. <sighs> Probably got about 14 pounds in each arm. <sighs> you know about this, especially on your quad. <sighs> Just do the best you can. <sighs> Six, <sighs> three. <sighs> oh, they're a bit heavy for that. I smashed it, and that's all you gotta do. You gotta keep going. Hi, everybody, who's just joined me. Let's go. Now, if you can't do the lunge as well, just stay with the flies, okay? Or the lunge, if you, whichever one you prefer. Just do whichever one you want. It's all free. Getting you in the best shape of your life. Leading by example. Come on, 24, let's go, working big, big, big fat bit of muscles, working them legs, 10, 6, legs are starting to burn now, legs are starting to feel pretty good, hit this best is 6 pound, and after the days we've trained, don't I know it, with a leg lunging. This might be too heavy for me, but I'm going to give it a go. Here we go. Oh no, I did it. So, front raise and drop, front raise and drop. Come on. Seriously heavy, seriously heavy weights for me. If you think this is the weight that Sean was using, it'll give you an indication of how heavy I'm working. Who says girls can't lift boys' weights? Right? Right? 
going slower. That's all. Oh, come on, people. Lift, front raise. Let's keep in those legs working. 139 is my heart rate. 122 is my starting uh, back burning zone. That shows you how hard I'm working. All in my living room. I'll try not to fall off this balance trainer. It's just a tiny bit too. I'm not blown up enough. 17. Come on. 10. These weights are probably five, five pound each side, and the bars are about three, four pound. So that's 14 pound in total. Let's go. Full body move, clean. Press, squat, press. One of my favorite moves. Clean, press, squat, press. Get right down, come on. Clean and press, squat and press. Let's keep that heart rate up there. Let's keep that fat burning zone in there. 20. 18. It's getting super tough. Anyone else sore? Anyone else feeling a bit sore? because it's helping you build strength. Oh, I'm dying, let's go. Oh, let's go, this time. So one fly, one row. One fly, one row. One back fly, which you're gonna feel after yesterday. Especially on your traps. Now if you need a break, just stand up, get back in the game when you're ready, row. Fly, row, fly, row, 15, oh wow, 10, 5, oh, I need to show you what is going on here, look at this, this is real, if you're following me right now, thank you, this means a lot. Let's go, Terry. Let's do it. Let's go. So, again, working on balance. When you come here, all your body is in the air. You're balancing on that one leg. Stability, functional training. Stability, joints, muscles, tendons, all helping you build stronger. Even if you're going like this, even if you're just stepping over a box like this, I don't care. You're gonna get faster, I promise. But you've gotta to want to practice. You've gotta to want to let yourself at least start as a beginner. If you give up before you've even become a beginner, you're never gonna get anywhere. Three, if you give up now, when are you gonna start? Like, when is it ever gonna start? Let's go. So, this time, 
Instead of doing it all the way to the floor, we're gonna clean to here and press, so clean in between our legs. So this is your end point, okay? It's a bit different to your clean and press. Feels different. Come on. Protect your back. Knees don't go over your toes. Up, down. Go. 14. Come on, seven, three, two, that's one. That's gonna feel different. It's gonna feel a bit different. You're gonna feel it more on your inner thighs, on your outer thighs. When you come up, drive up with the shoulders. Keep pushing hard, keep working hard. I hope you're sweating as much as me. It doesn't help that it's like a million degrees in here. But just gotta keep going. It's not hotter than being on holiday when we're filming, so. No excuses, right? Just take some water. If you're finding you're getting a bit warm. Ooh, somebody's got a horn. Let's go. 24. You're doing awesome. 20. Yes, sir. Keep pushing. 13. 10. 8. Three. That's one. This time you're gonna use your balance trainer or you can do this on the floor or over a bench. If this is something you can't do, if you don't have the equipment, pick something else to put in its place. Don't just stop and go, can't do that, I'm not gonna do it. Pick something else, okay? So can you see me? Yeah. So come up, you go over, bring it up. Bring it up to your chest, take it over, bring it up, take it over, up, over, stop at the chest, over, stop at the chest, stop at the chest, working lats, working back, working arms, working abs, over, stop at the chest, over, come on. Keep pushing. Time. Nice job. Absolutely awesome job. Hi. So take it over. Stop there and bring it up and squeeze just there. You can do this standing up if you wish. Take it over, bring it forward. Bring it over, take it forward. If you don't have a bench, stand up, do it. I do chest presses and everything stood up. So let's go. How you feeling? How you doing? Are you pushing? Are you working? Triceps are next. Come on. 15, 14, 10, 7, 4, squeeze, 3, you're on jumps. Really concentrate on pushing right down, pushing into your tricep, really working it. Let's go. Are you all still with me? You're still there? Yeah, you're still there. I can see you. 40 seconds. Come on. We're nearly there. Come on, push, push, push. Keep pushing. 
position. Get them triceps in. Try not to stop. 24. Yeah, past halfway. Hi, everyone. I can see you. 13, 12, 10. Seven, six. Never gets easier, does it? Never gets easier. I've got sweat pouring off my chin. You're on jump overs. Are you ready? Hmm. Let's go. Let's work some biceps. We just did some triceps. Let's work some biceps. So you're gonna hold the biceps. Then you take them out. Out. Now, this is gonna burn. If it does, you can go into standard biceps if you wish, okay? But I want you to hold it in an ISO hold and imagine that you're running your hand along the surface either side of you. But take it out, take it out, take it out. 15. It's real, man. Four, three, two. These are the same weights that Sean was using like an hour ago. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Same, 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 same. And he's a big, strong man. Let's go. Biceps, so hold them, take them out as if you're running your hand along the side of a surface. Let's go. Come on. 30. Come on, we're so close. See it through. Don't quit on me now. I keep falling off this bow suit. It's definitely working on my balance, that's for sure. Seven, four. Grab some water if you need it. How are you feeling? Hmm. Hmm. Are you ready? Let's go. So you can do this on the floor. I'm just going to do it on this bench because it's easier for you to see me. Oh, let's go. So come out, come in, tuck. Out, tuck. Out. Nope. Tuck. Just a tiny bit too small. There's benches. But I suppose it's going to make me work harder, right? Up. Up. Come on, working abs. Let's get some abs in it. We're so close, but keep pushing. Don't you quit on me now. We're dead close. Let's go. So we've worked legs, we've worked triceps, we've worked biceps, work abs, work back, work chest, work shoulders. It's all happening today. 35. Come on, push. 24. This is all free. Remember? This is all free. 15. 10. My legs are on fire. 6. Oh, your legs aren't burning right now from the rest of the week. I don't know what to say to you. My legs are on fire. Honestly, they're absolutely on fire. Let's go. So, this time, sit back, lift up, take it down. It's not this. I always say that. It's not your knees into your chest. You come up on your, on your hips. Tip. Take it down. Tip. Down. You can do this on the floor, but it is actually easier off 
something because your legs have got more room to go down. So you feel it a lot more and you can tilt back more as well. Come on. Awesome job. Oh God, my abs. What are you saying? Happy Thanksgiving. I can see you all. You're all doing awesome. Abs are for you. Let's go. Oh, I wonder how many people are actually doing this today instead of eating. I wonder how many of you are actually going to do it and lead by example like we are. And give your body a little bit of extra love today and just get your workout in. And work off some of those extra calories. Come on, 25. This is your last round, you'll be pleased to know. My legs will be pleased to know it, that's for sure. 15. Legs are on fire. 10. It's like doing it in sand, because this is so, that it needs so much more air in it. Done, 30 minutes. Ready for your bonus? Just take one round. What's my heart rate? 135. 135. My fat burning zone starts at 122. So that just because you show how hard we work here. I'll just take my vest off for a second. How are you doing? So we've worked stabilizing joints, we've worked inner thighs, outer thighs, inside, outside muscles, cardio, heart abs with the lifts we worked shoulders biceps with the, with the outs triceps with the push-ups so if you want to do this again do it again chest with the um push-ups um back with the row and the thing we're doing well 30 minutes smashed all all our body parts smashed them i'm feeling seriously sore today from the week let me just show you just how much i'm sweating look that vest is no joke. If you still haven't got the vest, you want to check out the uh, Black Friday deals we've got going because there's some serious, serious deals going. Mm. So, I thought we'd do buys and tries for our um, bonus. <laughs> what are you saying? <sighs> yeah? Okay, cool. <laughs> Let's do it. Just give me a minute. <sighs> it's like 100 degrees in there. I can't even explain to you. Look literally dripping everywhere of everything from everywhere uh. smashed it though so if you don't have time to stay around your workout is done for the day if you do have time to give me a couple more minutes we're going to do buys and tries for our bonus because we did shoulders yesterday and for all of you that know buys and tries are going to make those beautiful arms ready for christmas and new year which is just around the corner so if you've got a little bit of time Let's get some buys and tries going. So we're gonna do some single arm stuff. We're gonna do some double arm stuff. So get yourself a weight on your bar. Shush, gym boss. Get yourself a weight on your bar that's gonna push you. And when I say push you, I don't want it to be 20 seconds in and you have to rest. I want you to be able to see it through all the way. So I'm going with what I've been using, which I can do, I know I can do. So it's probably about 14 pound in total, but it's five pound weights either side. <sighs> I've got so much sweat, it's actually going in my nose. So, are you ready? So, we're going to start with single arm biceps, single arm bicep curl, single arm bicep curl, then we're going to go into a double, and then we're going to mix it up, and then we're going to do some tricep circles. Are you ready? I know you are. I can't believe how much sweat's going on. 10 seconds. So, single arm. Are you ready? So, I want you to hold the weight down here. I want you to put the other hand behind your back to stop yourself from swinging. And you're going to come all the way up, half to 70%. And then you're going to take it down and then you can come all the way up 70 percent notice how my arm is very close to my body it's not out here i'm not doing that and neither am i doing this and neither am i doing that i'm going all the way up holding it bringing it all the way down all the way up holding it bringing it all the way down my shoulders are back my abs are tight my bottom is squeezed under and my knees are soft 
Come on. This is your bonus. Now it should be starting to hurt and get a bit more difficult about that. Now if it does, use your other hands, just give you a bit of a lift. Not all the way, but just past that point that it gets a bit hard, just so you can keep your form. It's not cheating. It's not cheating because this is cheating. Keeping the form and just giving yourself a bit of a push isn't a cheat. It's helping you get past that bit where it's just a bit hard. And next time, you might get all the way through it. It's just helping you out, that's all. Down, so up, take it down. So up, 70%, take it down. Up, 70%, take it down. Come on, up, down. Here's your bonus for today. Buys and tries. Up, take it down. Come on. Should be getting a bit difficult about now. So if it is, just help yourself. Remember, one side is going to be stronger than the other. Get that up, take it down. For those of you that have just joined us, buys and tries is our bonus for our 30 minute workout today. Three, two. Okay, so this time you're going to pick up both your weights. Let's go. Oh, both of them. Shake it out, shake it out, shake it out. <sighs> shake it out. <laughs> Let's go. I'm actually going a little bit insane. That's the week and the jet lag and everything. It's just sending me a little bit insane. So this time, weights are forward. Now you're going to try and do double. <sighs> Take it down. Now this is going to burn because you've just done <sighs> single and you've worked singly. <sighs> but you're going to keep your form. And if you have to, you're gonna do single arms. But you're gonna try your very, very best to pull your abs in. Just slow it down. What I don't want from you is I don't want that. I don't want you holding it there and stopping the tension on the muscle. Because as soon as you take it away, see it's 70%, take it down. Keeping the tension on, on that muscle. I always tell you, when it starts to burn, that's when your muscle is starting to work. So this time, this time, I know, we're gonna go halfway up, take it down, all the way up, halfway, okay? Let's do it. Halfway up, take it down, all the way up, halfway, take it down. Halfway up, take it down, all the way up, halfway, hold, take it down. Oh my God, halfway up, take it down, all the way up. If you're going faster than me or slower than me, that's fine, but you know what you're doing now, but you have to have that squeeze halfway, take it down, all the way up, take it halfway, hold, take it down, halfway up, take it down, oh my God, all the way up, 10 seconds, halfway, Right, pump on. Ow. This time, holding the isometric hold. So we're really going to really tear those muscles. We're going to go out and in. Now, you might need a lower weight for this. You might need to just rest it for a little bit. That's okay. Try your best. I actually don't want to pick these up. <laughs> Let's go. Let's go. Hold it. Out and in. Out and in. So, keep in. Don't hold on to the weights too hard. Keeping tall. If you need a rest, have one. Like I do. Halfway. Pick them up. Let's go. I know they're doing it. Fourteen. I need a couple more. Ten seconds. No, I don't have 20 pounds. I have five pound a side with about three and a half, three, four pound bar, so about 14 pounds. Ah, let's go. So this time, hammer curl, same deal. All the way up, take it down, one arm. I hate myself right now. Hammer curl, take it down, hammer curl, take it down. Take it down, hammer curl, take it down again. Same deal, take it down. Ah. I've got the same weights as what Sean was using, so if you did Sean's, you should be able to complement this. I 
I know I'm a bit slow, it's because it's killing me. I'm properly max weight. I'm gonna help myself a little bit. I'd rather help myself than this. Ah, seven. Do you know how hard it is to like want to stop, but you've got like a lot of people watching you <laughs> and you can't stop. <laughs> it's really hard sometimes when all you want to do is just go, I'm done, I'm done. But you can't because you're not done because there's people joining in. <laughs> oh, let's go down, up, down, oh. down. Oh, I'm a cool. Down, up, down. Come on. Down. Look at those beautiful arms. Try not to swing, try not to swing. Use your arm to help you. Eight seconds, come on, we got this. Three, two. Okay, this time you're gonna go out sideways, this, this way, got it? So hammer curl, but out to the side. So I'm working the, shake it out for a minute. Working the bicep a little bit differently. Ready? If you need to stretch it back, stretch it back. Oh God, let's go. So working differently, working the bicep differently. <sighs> Keep getting notifications off people. <sighs> Down. <sighs> Outside. <sighs> you can see on my face I'm pushing. Ah. <sighs> Twenty. <sighs> oh, shaky head syndrome. <sighs> Just do the best you can. Ten. Four. Oh, bicep stretches are done. Have a rest, one man rest. Stretch it out. So stretch up, stretch down. Okay. Triceps. Ready? All right, pump on. <laughs> Even for my little arms. Oh, are you ready? So, tricepticals. That's what we're doing this time. So we're gonna start. We're gonna start with single arm bent over flies. If this is too much for you, you need to hold on to something, totally understand. But try not to, try just to use your abs, try to use your core, just stand up in the middle and then go back into it. So, triceps. Hmm. Now, I just wanted to test that this is not too heavy for me. No, it's not. So I'm using the same weight as I did on my biceps for as long as I can. You ready? Got 10 seconds. So you're gonna start, bend over, and you're gonna drive up and take it down. Drive up and take it down. Now, if this gets too heavy and you start to swing, you need to lower your weight, and I will be doing that if I do the same, okay? So, let's try. Let's go. So, back. Bring it forward, back. So really concentrate on that squeeze at the back. Let's go. Come on. Just take it straight back. Oh God. 15, let's go. Take a rest. Come on. I'm determined to get you stronger. Ah. I'm determined to get you stronger. I'm determined to push you. I'm determined to do it. Let's go. I'm just going to push this down a little bit so I can see my form. Okay, so other side. Let's go. We're nearly done. Now you're going to be a lot stronger on one side than you are the other. Come on. Down. Oh. This is my weak side. Come on. Lift. Down. Come on. 
Man. Some days the beak feels a long way away. Ah, two, that's one. Sometimes the beak feels a long way away. So this time, I don't know if this is going to be too heavy for me. It might be. No, it's not. So single arm. Now, if this is too heavy for you, you can do double arm and do it twice. But try, if you can, to do single arm triceps back. Notice how I just hold my arm. It's just a tiny bit too heavy for me, but I'm going to push through anyway. So if you're just joining us, this is our bonus. Buys and tries. So you go all the way down. Just help yourself out if it gets too difficult. Just don't let your elbow flare out. I'm telling you, this is Sean's weight. It's got a rocket, girls. It's got a man up some days, haven't you? Let's go. Let's go. I'm determined to get stronger. So just use your arm to help you. There's no shame in it because you're actually lifting more weight than you would before. So that extra push is building your muscle, helping you. Let's go, 25 halfway. Try such feeling. <laughs> Great in it. Six. Three. Release and re. Triceps on fire. I know. I know. But you gotta keep going. Keep pushing. <sighs> Come on. So this time we're doubling up. We're going down. We're taking it up. We're going down. We're no. I don't want you to straighten your arms out. I don't want you to do that. I want you to stay in that horrible zone in the middle. I want you to see how I push up. I'm not going up like this. I push up to the ceiling. Push up. Push up to the ceiling. Up. Up. I'm sorry for making noises, but honestly, I hate myself right now. At least you know it's real. You can always use your head as a rest. Push up to the ceiling. Four. Ready? Get on your benches. Last round. Last round. Let's go. This is gonna really feel gross. Oh my god. But I find if I finish on these, it almost helps just open up and loosen off. But it does burn, oh my god, it does burn. Oh my arms are actually shaking. Come on. That's for my dogs. <laughs> Shoulders back, nice and tall. So rest if you need to. We're so close. Oh, just stay there for a minute. We're done. I'm just going to bring you down here for a minute because. My legs are tired. My legs are tired. Let's put you there. Hey. Okay, so that's a 15 minute bonus. <laughs> so that's a 45 minute workout for free. So we did full body, working the full body every. <laughs> I can't even 
pick it up. I just, <laughs> I, I can't even pick that up. I'll drink later. <laughs> so let's just stretch while we're talking. So keeping you, keeping off the joints, keeping off the elbow joints. So we did full body for 30 minutes, using legs, using inner thighs, using outer thighs, powering your body through, using them big fat burning muscles. Oh my God. And then we did buys and tries for our bonus, which was 15 minutes long, which right now my triceps feel like they're on fire, stretch back. Let's go. We've done a good, good workout today. Yesterday was super cool. We did shoulders as our um, burnout. Today we've done buys and tries. Tuesday we did legs with abs as our bonus. So, thank you everyone. So, all in all, this week, you have essentially done an ab bonus, a shoulder bonus, a bias and tries bonus, a legs, we did a whole day on legs on Tuesday, and you've done two full body workouts. So you've nearly done, if you, unless we've done an actual isolated leg bonus, you've basically smashed anything you would do in a gym with me. So that's not even including Sean's workouts. So even if you went to a gym, you paid for a personal trainer, and they did shoulders one day, buys and tries the next day, cardio, legs, blah, blah, blah. You've already got that for free on here. Like, it's all done. So if you're thinking about upgrading to the vest this weekend, if you're thinking about um, getting involved in the Black Friday um, sales, this isn't me like trying to sell it to you. This is me being real. If you've only done, if you do two of these a week, that's two personal training sessions that you've completely like got for free. A vest isn't even as much as that. So think about that. If you're justifying getting yourself in better shape, if you're justifying spending the money on you, you know, cause it's always like, there's other things to pay for. You've got kids, you've got this, you've got that. You're important as well. Like the reason that we put the vest in the workout is so that you don't have to invest in so much other equipment because the vest is gonna make you work as hard. And you can use it when you go away, you can use it when you walk the dogs, you can use it when you're running, you can use it any time. It's all there and it's adding more weight and it's paying for itself in one day on this channel. It's unbelievable. So if you really do still not have any of this equipment, or if you do, if there's something that you really want, invest in you. This is the perfect weekend to do it, honestly. You are literally getting like two hours of free workouts on here every day, and you have been doing for the past two months. And they're all in sweat flicks. If you want to go back as well, if you've just joined us and you're just seeing me right now, and you're like, what is this girl talking about, Bess? I've no idea. Every single one of these lives that me and Sean have been doing for the past two months, so that's like one a day, and sometimes Sean does them on Saturday and Sunday as well, Every single one is in sweatflix.com and you get 30 days for free. So if you want to train for 30 days for nothing, even if you don't have any of the other equipment and you're just gonna go to the gym and do it on your own or wherever you're at and do it on your own, you can do it for, for free. You can try us out for free for 30 days. And if you do not feel stronger, if you do not feel like that you're a part of a community, if you don't feel like you're getting something out of this and you see changes in those 30 days, but you have to honestly, give it 30 days, you have to put in the work, you have to put in the right food, you have to really give it your all, but if you don't see change in 30 days, then you get hold of me. Because I'm telling you now, in 30 days, you can get all of those workouts for free, and we've got yoga, we've got, oh my God, we've got strength, we've got cardio, we've got everything you can think of. For 30 days, you can mix up your whole training pattern and take us to the gym, take us in your living room, take us wherever you wanna go. So if that doesn't give you the yes to buy yourself a vest or buy yourself the challenger or buy yourself the weights, you're gonna get 30 days for free. So that's your gym membership, if, you're, if you don't have one, for free. And you're gonna get a personal trainer in your living room every day for free. And you get these workouts on here. And the vest is gonna be on offer and on sale. And you're not just gonna get one, you're gonna get two vests. We send you two because we want you to give one to your friend. So you can either get two six pounds or you can get a 10 and a six pound. You can mix it up, you can do all of that. So honestly, if you're looking at me right now and you're like, I really want the vest, I really want the vest. This is the time to do it, I'm telling you. Like, listen to me, do I ever steer you wrong? I never steer you wrong. I always tell you from right from here, it's one of the best pieces of equipment I've ever used. It's so good. So if you see the offers coming on this page, if you see anything that you fancy, 
remember, if you're going to invest in yourself and you're really going to give yourself 110% and you're going to put it in every day and you're going to train with this, it will pay for itself in two days. Two days. It's amazing. I tell you. And if you're watching as well and you're the husband of a wife or a partner that literally loves to work out with us every day, whether it's me or Sean, whoever it is, Kelsey, Crystal Walker, whoever it is, if you're watching me right now, husbands, your wife, partner, girlfriend wants the vest, you need to get on that. Like, you need to get on it and listen to me because that's what they really, really want. And this is the time you really need to do it because Christmas is coming. So, that's for you. So that's it. I'm done. We did full body. We did buys and tries. My buys and my triceps are absolutely killing me. Make sure that you eat the right food. Loads of protein, loads of, um, there's some bottles. Def they're definitely not following the diet. Um, loads of protein, <laughs> loads of greens, not really much. Loads of greens, loads of veg. Really, really make sure that you're fueling right. Remember, if you are, if you're counting your calories and you are, say, on 1,500 calories a day, let's just say, I don't count my calories, but if you do, if your workout is burning 300 calories, you need to make sure you're eating your calories because that's how your body is going to build muscle. So remember that. If you're not finding that you're building muscle, if you're not finding that you're seeing it changes, maybe you're not eating enough. You need to eat your calories every day. I promise you, you will see a change. You will see a difference. Just please, please, please do not not eat. Not eating is not the way to get lean. Promise you. I promise. If you're still struggling, go to bodyrock.tv in the store. The meal plan is there. We wrote it. All our meals are in there and you can follow them. And so you never have to steer wrong. That's it. No. High fives. Mwah. Have an awesome day. See you tomorrow. Bye.